Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another uh, Greenlight unboxing video. Of course, not my cars. These were uh, purchased by my good buddy Dicastrum. They will eventually be shipped overseas to him. Of course, he is nice enough to let me go ahead and unbox these on the channel. So we get to check them out. We get to see uh, what's in this set. We got Hollywood Series 33 from Greenlight today. Uh, we get to see what's in the set. We get to see if uh, we might score a green machine, uh, Chase, which would be also kind of cool, right? So we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Um, Hollywood Series 33. So let's go ahead and uh, cut the uh, tape. And... Get it open. We got tissue in there. Um, I did purchase, I know, I believe, one car from this set for my own collection. Um, I don't remember if there's a, it's because I found it swinging at Walmart. I don't know if there is any other vehicles that I would be interested in picking up from it, but I guess we'll find out. I mean, that one was still sitting there. I think the whole set was actually there. So I think there's only one car really that interested me in it. But it's still neat to uh, check these out and uh, talk about them and see if we score a chase. Of course, that's always fun. All right, so the first car is the 1974 Checker Taxi. John Wick is our uh, Hollywood thing. And then, uh, so this is uh, Series 33 again, 1974 Checker Taxi. Uh, card art for the Hollywood series is always uh, unique to the vehicle. Um, but there you go. Let me take a look at that. So, fun stuff. I think I can hear my kids upstairs. This microphone's pretty sensitive. All right, so there you go, 74 Checker Taxi. This thing doesn't really interest me one bit whatsoever. I do have a version of this casting in my collection and don't really care to add any more. I think it's cool that Greenlight did this vehicle. Um, I think that is pretty neat that they decided to go ahead and uh, do the Checker uh, cab. Um, it's just not something that I'm terribly interested in, so I only have one in my collection. I don't think I'll ever pick up another one, but uh, if you don't have a version of this casting and you want one, this I would say this is a good version of it to get. Pretty basic uh, New York City cab, so pretty cool. All right, moving on from that, the next one in the case is another John Wick 1968 Charger RT. Check that out. And that one. This is another casting. This casting's actually been around for a really long time. It's an older uh, green light casting. Again, we got a little problem here. Something wrong with the uh, white lines in the tires. Something I've mentioned several times during these unboxing videos is green lights quality control, especially when it comes to uh, putting white circles or lines or anything on uh, tires of vehicles. They are absolutely terrible at that. And you can see it right there. It's like, what is the point of even doing it if most of your cars are going to look like this? I mean, let's be realistic. Uh, when you look at a car, one of the first things you see are the wheels. That's something that can make or break a vehicle. And having tires with these off lines on them is just... Uh, Frankly, it's unacceptable because it just makes the car completely worthless to me. Like, I wouldn't want to have this in my collection at all. I'd be like, oh, that's terrible. Those are that bad. And who knows what the other side's going to look at. It's probably worse. So, who knows? Or it might be perfect. I doubt it's going to be perfect because rarely they are. All right, moving on from that little problem. Let's uh, pick up the next one. Ooh, boom, boom. We got a green machine. All right, so the 19... 83 Ford LTD Crown Victoria from Ace Ventura Pet Detective. That's pretty cool. Uh, the green wheels on it look pretty cool. Normally, I'm not into the green machine chases that have a green base in the green rims. I I do like the ones that are uh, you know green body green machines. I think look pretty cool. The uh, the green rims or hubcaps or whatever you want to call it, they don't do anything for me. The green base doesn't do anything for me as a chase. I know some people collect green machines, and I'm not knocking you if you do. It's just, and obviously, you know, my buddy does. But, uh, but yeah, it's still cool to score one in a case, so that's pretty neat. Um, take a look here. 
a lot of times green light struggles with uh, putting on the uh, light bars uh, well so let's see here what we got for that and uh, eh, it's pretty straight it looks good on this one but again green machine green base green wheels and we scored a chase in the case we've done that quite a few times with green light i don't even know what the percentage actually is that they put chases in car i think it's like two percent it seems like it could be more than that though based on the amount of time that i, I score them you know this is the wrong set this is not the set i was thinking of this is set this set's been out for a while right i think it's been showed up it showed up at uh i want to say yeah i just looked at the rest of it this this set's been at walmart actually i think for a while the 1973 chevy malibu so there's that 1973 Chevy Malibu and from Drive, the movie. I'm having deja vu right now, like I have unboxed this case already. Man, what is going on upstairs? Sounds like the kids are doing some serious wrestling up there. That's fantastic. Um, you can probably hear it. Little added entertainment. 1973 Chevy Chevelle Malibu. This thing looks pretty cool. I think I actually did pick up one of these and put it in my collection. I thought it was kind of neat. So, what do you guys think about that? That's all right. All right, moving on. Uh, next, another one from Drive. This is the 1992 Ford Crown Victoria. And pretty basic police car. looks all right pretty nifty i guess i don't know drive was kind of a cool movie i i, I remember it somewhat but uh yeah basic police car so the people that collect the hot pursuit stuff probably would i don't know if you guys go for the hollywood cop cars but this one is uh it's pretty neat i would say add it to your collection i'm not going to just because i don't i don't need every single police car that's ever come out but uh pretty decent all right and we're gonna follow it up with the last one in the set which is 90210 1988 jeep cherokee limited i'd say it's a pretty solid version of this casting yeah pretty decent. it's a it's a good color it's kind of like got a charcoal iron cast sort of gray dark gray to it so pretty decent so i guess if you don't have a version of the cherokee limited this would be a good one this is a good tooling actually from Greenlight. i do i uh, think they did a pretty darn good job of it so i would say you know if you don't have one in your collection it's worth adding one to your collection i'm not sure if this is necessarily the one for you i've got a couple of different ones already and I, so i don't think i'm going to go for this one but uh uh yeah it's it's still pretty nice i mean it's a nice basic car i don't know where it appeared in 90210 i didn't really watch 90210 ever um even when i was uh younger you know, if you were a little older than me, probably you watched a lot of it. Or if you were of the female persuasion, you probably watched it a lot more as well. Um, but yeah, 90210, Beverly Hills. All right, so what's your favorite in this uh, set? My favorite is definitely the Chevelle Malibu. I'm going to say that one's the best or the one most worth getting out of all of these. Um, the Ace Ventura thing's kind of cool too. Just love that movie. <laughs> what a classic and then uh yeah i don't know that's a good just basic basic jeep so the major disappointment i guess is just going to be this i mean it would be a pretty sick looking 1968 dodge charger except for the fact that the uh tires ruin it now you could easily take this out of the package flip the tires around and uh, then you just have black and that would probably look all right that would definitely look better than this so yeah if it were me that's probably what i would do i don't know if i'd go buy another one so all right that's gonna be it for this guys thank you guys very much for watching another green light unboxing hopefully you enjoyed this enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you in the next one